Let's Mandy, take it away. Mandy's just put herself on, on silent. Yeah. I didn't have anything to do. <laughs> yeah, all yours. <laughs> Not me. You are You're the MC. You're the MC. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. This is a very surprised MC. <laughs> Welcome tonight. I hope you are all keeping well and ready for a, a fun fact evening. And I believe, if I remember correctly, John was doing the presentation. Yes. Take Quite it away, good. John. Well done. Thank you, Mandy. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's a bit of a variance on the presentation tonight. Uh, and what I would like to just run by is the importance of each one of us to know the presentation. Not all the time are we going to have access to the computer and uh, what Sean's presented there. Excellent uh, choreographer. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, from beginning to end, in sequence, uh, we we can uh, understand what's happened. Now, if I can give you the fundamentals, in the beginning, there's an ID about who we are and ourselves. What gives us the right to speak to them? So tell your story. That's so important. And if you have a look at the wedge of interest, it's your ID, and it shouldn't take more than uh, six or eight minutes at the outside, where you came from, uh, where you were until you just, someone showed you this opportunity and then uh, you did it and uh, from now onwards you have a different um, financial uh, perspective uh, on your, uh, your whole life. So you, uh, right in the very beginning, I think Jenny Holiday might be one of the first ones, maybe even Sean. Um, remember that we actually used to have our presentation in a notepad form. And we used to, use, the first one was, I've still got one here, uh, who it's, what opportunity is knocking at your door? And then we turn over the first page and there was you, uh, your story. So the wedge of interest comes from a lot of people don't realize how deep they are in the soup. They're, if they compared themselves to the next broke person, they're probably all doing okay. But compared to what? So it's our job to take them from uh, right in the beginning uh, to encourage them to start dreaming again, that their future can be made much better if they had an extra stream of income. So the, the whole line or emphasis is to take them gradually through to let them, uh, 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 so they can actually identify with you. I was uh, that broke that I couldn't even pay attention. You know, it's it's something where you add in your own little story that uh, where you were really down or you might not have been down or you weren't aware that there could have been uh, financial implications on our business. A lot of people just join for the beautiful products and um, that that's okay. And then they turn it into a business. But remember, if you can get your, your idea over to them, uh, rather have it written down. Uh, and I know that Linda Foster's got a very good one where she goes through the whole plan on note forms and she uh, took that to a lot of her meetings where people could get the whole general idea. So your wedge of interest should sp spend some time uh, on on uh, where you were, on your the, their dreams, not your dreams. You can uh, tell them where you come from, uh, your story, but only when it comes to their dreams, let them start participating 
and find out what do they really want. Why do they want to join the company? And a lot of, uh, uh, there will be many times you will have paper available and you'll be able to uh, write down your presentation, but sometimes you haven't got a board or access to a laptop. And if you remember that we're going to try and make this duplicatable, uh, you can't always take uh, an iPad or something where you can present your presentation skillfully uh, and in a digital form. Uh, using access to all the iPods in your computer <laughs> that you have got. So if you start looking at doing a simple presentation, and uh, if you can, the more simple you can make it, the better. If you look at the, our first uh, presentation, there were 16 pages that we flipped over, like a flip chart uh, on the table. And many a time we got... Uh, Jenny's upline, Bill Cuthbert, started that way. We got so many people uh, started on the flip chart, our own flip chart. So don't be uh, afraid to write down what uh, the presentation, if you look at Sean doing the presentation, and that is really slick. If you can get first prize, bring them to the meeting where Sean's showing them the presentation. If you can't do that, then uh, sketch out to them and tell them, I'm going to draw a sketch of what we do. Um, and then if you like what you see, we can take it further. Always leave the back door open for them without too much pressure. So, you, uh, and if you need to uh, draw it up or, or borrow uh, our presentation that we had years by and doctor it up to your own uh, uh, liking or your own personality, we can do that and just um, uh, tweak it a bit to fit your personality. Back then, I actually went up to uh, Pretoria and did a talk uh, with a, a presentation on on the whiteboard. It was in A4 size, uh, sorry, A3 uh, presentation. And when I went to Harare, I put the board up and I used that presentation and got many people signed up just on uh, the actual presentation plan. So if, if, if you try and wing it and you're not very confident and not sure, they will, they will actually put you in a corner and you'll, you'll actually feel not confident and they'll read that straight away. So rather practice it until you can do that uh, obviously, the people I'm speaking to tonight, you can do the presentation without, the, if I could use the word crutch, of a presentation uh, manual or, or plan. You can do a straight off, but be careful that you don't leave a lot out and also your closing questions. Make sure that that is also uh, in your, your presentation. So it's vitally important that you can do a, a presentation um, if you've listened to the people on the circuit, like Vic's given beautiful presentations at the uh, in the halls there, uh, and uh, the others have done that. But I think if you look at um, having little crib notes, I know even on the blackboard, some people had crib notes on the the duster or the uh, the different. We could all notice it, or they even had their wives at the very yes. back uh, of the, <laughs> the hall with a, a, a little sign. Uh, if you're talking too much, they would go like this or they would, they would make signs, but you'd have to you'd have to uh, mm. watch a lot of people to get your presentation done. So there were many people that have put an input into that. But the main thing, if you need practice score on someone like Vic or... Uh, Linda's a bit far, but someone that, that's done the presentation in a big crowd and just run it by them to see if you've covered all the bases without having to resort to clicking on Sean's talk. Sean's talk is the best. If you can do that, 100%. But it's not always duplicatable. That's what I'm trying to say. So get your own presentation. Make sure that you understand it. And if you need 
uh, if you need any um, help with that, uh, feel free. I can uh, email this whole thing to you if you want it. Uh, but make sure that you've got something to give them. Don't just start scrolling on a bit of uh, paper and you start getting flummoxed halfway in. I think that there is worse than doing no presentation at all because the guy will, or the person will lose confidence in you, your ability to lead them through to the end conclusion. So please look at the presentation, know it off by heart, uh, have your uh, props if you want, which is your pages for your presentation, but have it done. Um, no presentation is worse than doing a bad presentation. That's what I'm told. So rather do it and then learn from your mistakes. Super. Thank you very much, Mandy. I'll give the rest to you. Thank you very much, John. That was very informative and gives us all food for thought. Now we go, Norma's supposed to be doing her vitamin B testimony, but seeing she's not here, her upline, who I'm sure is Jenny Holiday, will have to step in. Thanks, Jenny. I have had such good results from vitamin B. Jillian in my complex is actually, her points were over 100. She tells me she's promoting vitamin B. Why vitamin B? Well, from what I've gone through the last couple of months, the terrible cramps I've had in my legs, I was unable to walk. Vitamin B was there for me. And Debbie will tell you, when I joined this business, I was virtually bald. That's a fact. I had hardly any hair in my head. And a friend of mine from Scotland came, and I said, Jen, do you remember when I used to wear a wig? And she said, oh, Jen, everybody except yourself knew you were wearing a wig. Well, I'll tell you what. If you've got problems with thinning hair, vitamin B is the answer. Vitamin B is also very good for your nerves. And I would suggest that you, you, you go into the back office because there is an excellent, it's very short, given um, on vitamin B. It actually tells you all the things that it does. I personally cannot live without vitamin B. It's very, very good for sleeping. I find. So before I go to bed, I will just take a vitamin B. How long have I got? I think vitamin B is about, can other people like to add something? Because I think input from other people, Sean, is actually very good. But mm -hmm. I do know it's helped my incredible hair that didn't grow. It helped all my cramps when I had this major surgery. And it's very good for nerves. It's also, by the way, excellent for concentration. But I would recommend that you listen to Louis Smith because whenever I promote vitamin B, I send them that little clip. It's not long. He speaks very fast. And because of that, he comes across very confident. You know, it's, it gives people confidence in what he says. Debbie, your contribution in vitamin B? Just quickly, Jen, because I think we've got out of time. It's my fault entirely. I put everything on the chat, uh, on the ADT chat, but I've just noticed now that poor old Norma's not on the chat. So apologies, my fault, but because she's got a wonderful testimony, so I'm going to get her to talk about it next time. Um, uh, the synthetic vitamin B almost killed her, and when she went on to our vitamin B, it saved her, and that's I'll, I'll get her to talk on that another time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jenny and uh, Debbie, for that. those pointers. Uh, now, Sean is going to do self-development. Thank you, Sean. Okay. All right. Hi, everybody. Personal development is absolutely key to doing this business. I will often say, and I will continue to say it for the rest of my days, that personal development has been more valuable to me in this business than any check I've received, no matter how big or how small. And 
probably even more valuable than the products, even though the products have made a huge difference to my life. The personal development has got me here. Because without that, I would not be sitting here talking to you. Personal development is something that you have to, have to, have to do. We are in a business of our own. Not on our own, not by ourselves, but for ourselves. We have the encouragement of the team. But at the end of the day, we have to put ourselves out there and share it. And anybody who's known me over my life, I don't talk to people. I don't talk to strangers. I don't talk to family. If there's more than three people around, I become wallpaper. But through continual personal development, and it is taken a long time and I'm still a lot of there's a lot of work in progress over here but it is vital but what is personal development what do you have to sign up for a university course no what it is is you working on yourself just like developing a business just like developing a, a building you've got to develop yourself but how do you do that we know that in order for our bodies to grow we need to feed it. Our mind is no different. In order for this to grow, you've got to feed it. And our diet isn't just what we eat. It's what we see. It's what we hear. It's what we read. And we know that personal development is the third part of the three daily success habits. It should be the first, second, and third part. Because if you're not developing yourself personally, you are not going to grow. Just like if you don't feed yourself properly, you are not going to grow. You are always going to be sick. We live in a sick society, unfortunately. No matter where you are, no matter where you look, newspapers, uh, social media, movies, radio, you name it, bad news sells. And that bad news it's like a cancer. You might think it doesn't affect you, but it does. And this is why people get depressed and morbid and, oh, woe is me, life is going to come to an end, the world is, is over, it's so bad. Because no matter where you look, there's bad news. But bad news sells. You tell a good news story and a couple of people mm -hmm. will give you a hand and say, yeah, yes, this is wonderful. But you say, oh, have you heard? And everybody goes, heard what? Uh, uh, what what's happening? Yes, the economy is so bad. And yes, uh, uh, people thrive on bad news. We have to be different. We're not going to be fed the good news. We have to feed that ourselves. But where do you get this? You don't have to go and spend a fortune on personal development. Mine costs me nothing. It costs me a bit of time. How do you start your day? I start my day with my quiet time. Read, the, read my devotions, read my Bible, get those motivational quotes that I then share with the team. But that's not all. On my way to work, I've got a few minutes. So I do this. I don't sit down for an hour or two. If you've got an hour or two, great, go for it. Set aside that time. But if you don't, I take probably about 15, 20 minutes to get to work. That is my mobile university. I'm listening to podcasts. I'm listening to talks that I've saved on my radio, on my phone, and I play it through my radio. I don't ever play the radio in my car. I'm not even too sure what station to look at. Whoever's driven with me at any time, you will know that all my information is going through my phone. The music that I play, it's got a motivational undertone to it. The talks I listen to have got a motivational undertone to it. The podcasts I tune into are specific. It's information, whether it's motivational, whether it's training, whether it's nutrition, it's developing my mind. The books I read, I try and read things that are going to stimulate my mind. Every so often you, these other things slip through the cracks. But the more positive you feed your mind, the more positive your life will be. And I'm going to go one step further. I know I've only got a couple of minutes left over here. But you are developing yourself. 
you are being encouraged. Don't keep it to yourself. Share that with other people. They say a smile is contagious. Share that with others. Because, as I said, we live in a negative world. You will be blown away what a simple, hi, how are you? How's your day? Will do to somebody. Or when you see them, have a great day. Been great chatting to you. Or even just, hi, how's it going? And they say, good, excellent. Have a great day. See you later. And walk away. Open the door for somebody. Smile. Hi, how's it? And they carry on. Just that smile is worth a fortune. It makes all the difference. You don't know what somebody else is going through. I had somebody in my room the other day, and all I did was mostly listen. And she said, when I came in here, I was so tense, and I could see it. And she said, you've told me so much. It was only about five or six minutes that I was there. And she says, can you see how relaxed I am? I said, yes, I could watch you relaxing. I hadn't done anything. I simply listened, made a couple of little comments here and there, and it made all the difference. Go out, make a difference in somebody else's life. Encourage them, smile, have a great day. How are you doing? Listen to how they're doing. That is personal development in action. They don't know it, but you're developing them. Because by your little positive input, they are going to share that. They probably won't even realize it, but they will share it with somebody else. Let that be the contagious thing. Forget about all the other bugs out there. Share and spread the good news. And the only way you're going to share and spread that good news is by feeding it into yourself. Not just once in a, in a month, once in a blue moon, as Zig Ziglar always used to say. Um, people would say to him, no, personal development doesn't stick to you. It's, it's, it doesn't stay forever. He says, yes, I know. It's like, it's like bathing. You've got to do it every day. You need to get your personal development into your system every day. Cleanse your mind, grow your mind. Just like you feed yourself, just like you take your supplements, you've got to supplement the good news in your life and the positivity in your life through books, podcasts, CDs. And if you, don't have, if you can't buy a book, go to the library. There are so many things available online and it's all free. So that's me. Thanks, everybody. Thanks very much, Sean. Right, now it's time for Jenny to give us the events for the forthcoming week. Thanks, Jenny. A very important event is the ADT, All Distributor Training. Congratulations to each and every one of you who are here tonight because, yes, by attending ADT, you will actually go through the basics of the business. You will be told products, oh, let's go and buy vitamin B. So you'll use the products. Then you'll share the product, uh, the opportunity, share the products and personal development. So, and also the ADT is so exciting because of recognition. Very important event on your calendar is the ADT. So, Tuesday night, oh, so exciting, Sean, because we have a date with you. So record that in your diary. Okay, the date I'm going to be with Sean. Because Sean, thank you so much. Really, really for all your research, all your time, and the positive input and your knowledge that you so generously share with us. So that is a Tuesday and a Wednesday morning near life. They actually have a program for you and there's always a replay. So listen to the basics there of the business. And Wednesday is also the dates with the Cunninghams. Because once again, their training is amazing. And it's so diverse. So tune in on a Wednesday. Oh, and this business is about building relationships. Yes, I see you're nodding. Friday, you have a date. And you have your cup of coffee ready. And... We're building relationships. We just relax 
and we hear what's going on in your downline and cross lines life. Well, I mean, Debbie's team, my team, etc. And then, of course, the 21st of July, that's an event because it's a price adjustment. Please remind your downlines about that. And oh my goodness, how are you going to get people into your business? Well, the RISE meetings are in Durban, Cape Town, PE, Johannesburg. Invite people to those, those events. And of course, the Impact Summit, 19th of October. Start, if you haven't saved already, one of my downlines, she used to take every five rand and put it in a bottle. And voila, she had enough money to go to Bloemfontein. It's amazing how many five rand notes you can, or not notes, they do change into notes, these coins. But yes, so start mm -hmm. saving because why is the impact summit important? It's a day full of powerful business training, networking, the latest product, breakthroughs, new step-ups, and you hear the most incredible stories where people were to where people are now. I lived in the studio when I was a child. And at one of the summits, there was this couple. He had standard two, she had standard one, and they were diamond directors. How? I mean, in the mountains, where they waited at the border for their products, where there's no airtime. My goodness, inspiring stories. And this is an all Africa convention. It's from all, all over Africa. Very, very inspiring. There we have the new step-ups, personal success stories as mentioned. Get to experience that transformative community and so much, much more. I can see Mandy's jumping up and down here. I can see you, Mandy. Can't wait for the summit. <laughs> I know Ansi can't. I know Sean can't. I know the Cunninghams can't. Why not? Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Kenny. Yeah. Now we have Debbie, who's extremely excited about recognition. Thank you, Debbie. Yes, hello, everybody. Yeah, there's, um, I don't know why, but I think I do know why. Going to Bloominet, um was a bit of a stretch for finances because everyone was a bit slow this month, but last month, this month, everyone's just going like crazy. <laughs> so... Thank goodness this business is like it is because, um, you know, we're there as a team, which is fantastic. So Linda Foster, well done for qualifying again. Emerald Director. Thanks, Linda. Very sure. good. Well, well done. done. Yeah. And then um, I'm just going to note people on here. There's 500, 500 um, I think Jenny Potter got 500. Then, uh, um, um, Sean, Jenny, and most of you got 500 PV, which is fantastic. Um, but we can all do better, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Like even this month, I'm battling this month. Last month, we were well over a thousand PV, and the money is in your personal PV. It really is. Ask Jenny Potter when she was getting her thousand PV, the money was. Good. Hey, Jen. Yeah, so go, go for it. And um, Robin Banks is going to be at the summit, by the way. So that's part of the recognition that I'm giving you. He gave a phenomenal talk last time. So um, just not everybody who agrees with me. <laughs> okay. 500 Club, that was just Linda V. Um, and there's nobody else. It was Rosemary, but she's not on here. And it's an Eagle Team function. So, yeah, we know the story with Eagle Team. So, yes, I think that's it. Thanks very much, everybody. Thank you, Debbie. And now Vic will uh, round up the evening for us and give us the close. Thanks very much, Vic. Good evening, everyone. Just as a matter of interest, uh, historically, going back a bit, 
probably about 40 years ago, I went to a presentation in Newcastle by Neolife, or then Golden Products as it was then. And they had about three products on a table and a little bit of a talk. And uh, obviously I was not impressed because I didn't join. The next presentation I went to was John with his flip chart. And uh, John, uh, as a result of that flip chart presentation, I joined. You know, unfortunately, not under you folk, but I did join. So yeah, they, they, you know, a good presentation works. So I was thinking tonight, what, what is the, the idea of this evening really? It's not just to talk about some products or other, or maybe a few techniques. It's basically to make everyone on the talk realize that regardless of our status, regardless of where we are in the business, regardless of what sort of month we had, we're still here. As long as we don't quit, we win us. And that's really the whole purpose of it. Uh, you look back, some of the big names that aren't around anymore, um, I won't mention names, but they're gone uh, because they quit it. The only reason they went out, they were, they were good distributors, but they quit. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a case of uh, you still here firing away, so therefore you're obviously not a quitter. So from the top down, every one of us is, is a winner. We need to remember that. Look, we all have a life. We've all had a life. We will have a life. And life comes along with a couple of roadblocks and potholes, plenty of those nowadays. Um, and, and the idea is to just get through them, get past them. I listened to a talk the other day on the radio where some psychologist or other psychiatrist, I don't know the difference, said that um, emotion, emotion lasts 20 seconds. So if you have a bad day uh, or a bad experience or even a bad uh, talking to somebody, give yourself the 20 seconds to mull over it and get angry with yourself and get fed up and then get out of it. Say, well, that's it, I'm gone. So, you, you know, just dust yourself, as I say, dust yourself off, pick yourself up and start all over again. I recall somebody once saying to me, and it stuck in my mind, uh, you know, people say, but you don't know what I've been going through. But fair enough. And this particular guy said to me, you know, if you're going through hell, keep going. Don't stop. There's no point in staying there. And I'll leave that with you. you know, we all are going to have great challenges this year. We'll all have great opportunities. And uh, with your help, everybody here, uh, we're going to make the Eagle team very successful this year. So I'll leave you with that. Uh, we'll, we'll just meet those challenges as they come along. And we'll take those opportunities. So just get out there and as Nike says, just do it. Thanks, folks. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Vic. Oh. Pardon? Fantastic, Vic. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Don't forget Charlie's Emerald Challenge. John keeps reminding me. Um, oh, yeah, City. at Sun City, that was one of our best world team uh, functions ever. And there we had meetings every morning, right until lunchtime. This time with Charlie's Emeralds, there's no meetings. We just it's just a holiday for a weekend. So um, yeah, nice.